Hello, God's Freedom's Ministries. Pastor Johnny Harsh here with another wonderful message straight from God's Word. We're talking today about the first miracle that we read that God gave to Jesus. We're going to start with the second chapter of John, verse 1. And not only will you see and hear me preach on what God gives me today, you will also get to see a portion of the DVD of the Gospel of John. And this will take you back uh, through the movies and actually sort of see uh, how we, how the director and the actors portraying this felt what really happened that day at the wedding feast. So uh, it's been a while since I've been in front of this camera. I just thank you, all of you who, who have supported God's Freedom's Ministries. Good things are happening. Uh, people's lives are being changed. People's uh, lives are being raised up to the Lord. I was very excited and happy to find out that we have people from 29 different countries who have logged on to God's Freedom's Ministries. And I just praise the Lord for Him opening those doors. I pray that many, many more lives will be touched. God loves you so much. And this is just another avenue of how He wants to uh, share His love for you and tell you the truth. There is only one way one truth to eternal salvation, and that is through God's Son, Jesus Christ. So we're going to open up with prayer, we're going to uh, show you the video, and then I'm going to come back and we're going to talk about what we saw and what God wants you to know about these verses in His Word from John chapter 2. Let's talk to God. Father, I thank You for this day. I thank You for all the wonderful gifts that You have given us. I thank You, Lord, for... Uh, the fact that all of your children need not uh, have any worries or fears, but with you on their side, there can be really nobody against us, because who can stand up against our Father? So Lord, as we open up these verses, please use me to speak to whoever uh, listens and views this video. I pray, Lord, that it touches their heart and helps them grow stronger in your Son, Jesus Christ. Make the words come alive in them, Lord. Make they... Uh, be the living Word of God, the seed which is deposited in their hearts to bring forth fruit in this uh, world we live in. We love you, Father, and we pray in Jesus' name. And I pray that you'll say with me, Amen. Well, let's look at these, uh, this, this video. It's the Gospel of John, starting with chapter 2, and it's the very first miracle that Jesus did. Go ahead, watch it. Two days later, there was a wedding.
they took him the water, which now had turned into wine, and he tasted it. He did not know where this wine had come from, but of course the servants who had drawn out the water knew. So he called the bridegroom. Everyone else serves the best wine first, and after the guests have drunk a lot, he served the ordinary wine. But you have kept the best wine until now. Look what 
mother, uh, his mom says to the servants. But his mother told the servants, do whatever he tells you. That is the title of this message that we're hearing right now. And it's something that I pray that's going to just stick in your heart and your mind for days, weeks, and months to come. Do whatever he tells you. That's it. Do whatever he tells you. I promise you that God speaks to you. He speaks to you through his word. He speaks to you today through circumstances in your life. He speaks to you from uh, other people who are walking and following after Christ. He speaks to you in so many ways. He speaks to you with His Holy Spirit. And praise God, we have His living Word, which is Jesus Christ speaking to us. Uh, I, I get so excited to open up the Bible. I was called out this morning to uh, drive a big coach bus, and I was out at uh, 4.30 in the morning. The very first thing I did was I opened up my Bible, and I read some scriptures out of Deuteronomy. I get so excited, and that's, oh, do whatever he tells you. That was not just for uh, the servants there at that time. That is what we are to do every single day of our lives. Jesus' mother knew this, and God is using me to talk to you as you're watching this, and to me, do whatever he tells you. Now, look at this, starting in verse 6. Six stone wine water pots were standing there. They were used for Jewish ceremonial purposes and held 20 to 30 gallons each. You saw in the movie how big they were. 20 to 30 gallons each. Jesus told the servants, Fill the jars with water. And when the jars had been filled to the brim, he said, Dip some out and take it to the master of ceremonies. So they followed his instructions. Now, as we saw in the movie, and I think this is probably how it really happened, the servants were stepping out in faith. They listened to what Jesus told them. They followed his mother's instructions. They thought they were dipping out water to take to the master of the ceremonies there. And when we trust in God with all our heart, when we lean not on our own understandings, if we acknowledge Him in all our ways, He directs our path. We find those words in Proverbs 3, uh, verses 5 and 6. And you see all this taking place with Jesus' first miracle. And in verse 9, When the master of ceremonies tasted the water that was now wine, not knowing where it had come from, though of course the servants knew, he called the bridegroom over. Usually a host serves the best wine first, he said. Then when everyone is full and doesn't care, he brings out the less expensive wines. But you have kept the best until now. He tasted the wine. It was like the best wine he'd ever tasted. And I promise you that when you accept Jesus Christ into your heart, he is the best wine. He is the uh, water that we will never thirst again. He changes and gives us a new heart. Uh, he, he promises us an abundant life right here on this earth. And Jesus, oh my gosh, He is the living water. He is the living Word. And He is the new life that God wants every single person who's ever drawn breath to experience. That's God's will for mankind. And we see all this taking place. This is such an exciting time. And as you meditate on this, to think that once you have asked Christ into your heart, you have that brand new life flowing through you. And then you can go and share that with others. You can take that new wine and give it to other people so that they can have a wonderful life too that God planned for them. Look at verse 11. This miraculous sign at Cana in Galilee was Jesus' first display of his glory and his disciples believed in him. After the wedding, he went to Capernaum for a few days with his mother, his brothers, and his disciples. Okay, so we hear, do whatever he tells you. Think about that. Do whatever he tells you. Just keep on thinking, what is God speaking to me today to do? What is God's plan for me? Am I going to carry out my plans, or am I going to carry out God's plans for me? That's a choice we have to make every day. And the Bible showed us right there that when Jesus 
followed his, his father's commands and he started his ministry that people, his disciples, were able to see the glory of God. And the glory of God is such a wonderful thing. The glory of God exists in you and me when we do whatever he asks. Years ago, I preached a message on, we have something today where people go, whatever, whatever, and it's sort of a negative thing. We're not really feeling good when we talk like that. But the Bible says, Jesus says, whatever you ask in my name shall be done. The name of Jesus. As we keep going through this Gospel of John, God has so many neat things to talk to us about. We're going to grow deeper and deeper in our walk with Him. This is exciting times. I don't care that we're living in a, a sad time for our economy in the United States right now. Uh, God wants His children to know that Jesus is the only way, the truth, and the life. And that if you believe in Him, He wants you to have and experience the abundant life. God's people's I'll tell you what, when, when we do whatever He tells us to do, there is nothing that can stand up against us. Another word that we have from God's Bible is, if God is for me, who can be against me? Amen? If God is for me, who can be against me? That's why we as children of God really don't have to worry or have any fears about things. I prayed this morning and I said, God, you're, you spoke to me through your Son. Jesus said that we are to daily give Him our burdens. So, do children of God have burdens? Oh, yes, we do. But are we supposed to carry those burdens? No, we are not. The example that we just witnessed here by the DVD and reading God's Word, there was a burden in somebody's heart that the wine had gone. And now all they had was uh, water. And by co because people trusted in Jesus, because Mary had such faith, because the time had come for Jesus to start, all of a sudden, that worry that was there for a moment was now gone. And what took its place? Joy. Uh, Miracle-believing power. And more than anything else, we got to see Jesus. So as we go forth from this message today, what are you going to start saying to yourself? Lord, whatever you ask of me, I will do. I will do whatever you say. Whatever you say, Father, through your Holy Spirit, I will do. And then we give Him thanks. We thank God and we praise Him. Sometimes with hands in the air, our hands open to Him. And we thank Him for His never-ending mercies to us. His mercies are brand new to us every single day. So my brothers and sisters, as we close out this video, do whatever He asks. Don't doubt Give your daily burdens to Him. Let Him turn your empty wine vessels into uh, overflowing vessels of the best wine in the world. In other words, you go forth and sing and shout God's praises for what He has done in your life. Amen? And always, as we say every single time, I say it again and I'm going to keep saying it again, to please God, to have that overjoy, that, that joyous life, you have to, you must walk by faith and not by sight. I'll see you next time for our next, next uh, uh, journey through God's Word and the Gospel of John. I love you. I pray for all the people who come on to God's Freedom's Ministries. I thank all of those of you who give to this ministry. And uh, God is just so good. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you next time. And uh, I love you in Jesus' name. We'll see you later.